We have two matrices, A and B, and we need to find their products, A times B and B times A. Matrix A is a square matrix of the size 3 by 3, and so is matrix B. We remember that the product of two matrices is defined if the number of columns of the first matrix being multiplied matches the number of rows of the second matrix being multiplied. A has three columns, B has three rows. Therefore, A, B product can be found. And then B matrix has three columns and A has three rows. Therefore, B, A product can be found as well. So let's start with A, B product. Which will be the matrix of the size 3 by 3 as well, formed by the elements C sub 1, 1, C sub 1, 2, C sub 1, 3, C sub 2, 1, C sub 2, 2, C sub 2, 3, C sub 3, 1, C sub 3, 2, C sub 3, 3. And now let's find them. C sub 1, 1 is found by multiplying the elements lying in the first row of the first matrix by the elements lying in the first column of the second matrix. And so we have 2, 0, 0 multiplied by 0, 2, negative 2 which equals 2 times 0 plus 0 times 2 plus 0 times negative 2. So we have 0 plus 0 plus another 0, which is 0. Then C sub 1, 2. And that is equal to the product of elements lying in the... I'm sorry, that is my mistake. In the first row, again, of the first matrix, and the second column of the second matrix. So again, we have 2, 0, and 0, multiplied by the column negative 2, 1, and 4. So we have 2 times negative 2, plus 0 times 1, plus 0 times 4 which is negative 4. Then C sub 1, 3 equals the row 2, 0, 0 multiplied by the column 1, 10, 0. Which is equal to 2 times 1 plus 0 times 10 plus 0 times 0, which is 2. So the first row of our product matrix is 0, negative 4, and 2. Moving on to the second row. by multiplying the elements in the second row of the first matrix and the first column of the second matrix. So it goes 0, 1, 2, multiplied by the column 0, 2, and negative 2. And that is equal to the following. 0 times 0 plus 1 times 2 plus 2 times negative 2, which is 0 plus 2 minus 4, which equals to negative 2. C sub 2, 2 equals the product of the same row, 0, 1, 2, and the second column of the second matrix, negative 2, 1, and 4. Zero times negative two plus one times one plus two times four, which is zero plus one and plus eight, and that is equal to nine. 
c sub 2, 3 equals the product of the same row and the third column of the second matrix, which is 1, 10, and 0. So we have 0 times 1 plus 1 times 10 plus 2 times 0, which is 0 plus 10 and plus 0, and that is equal to 10. And so we have our second row, which is negative 2, 9, and 10. the second product, BA. BA product matrix will be the matrix of the size 3 by 3 as well, formed by elements D sub 1, 1, D sub 1, 2, D sub 1, 3, D sub 2, 1, D sub 2, 2, D sub 2, 3, D sub 3, 1, D sub 3, 2, D sub 3, 3. Let's find these elements. So d sub 1, 1 is equal to the product of elements lying in the first row of the B matrix and the elements lying in the first column of the A matrix. So we have 0, negative 2, 1, multiplied by 2, 0, 5. Okay. 
0 times 2 plus negative 2 times 0 plus 1 times 5 equals 0 plus 0 plus 5 and that equals 5. d sub 1, 2 is equal to the product of the same row and the second column of the second matrix. So it goes 0, negative 2, and 1 multiplied by the column 0, 1, and negative 1. 0 times 0 plus negative 2 times 1 plus 1 times negative 1. That is equal to 0 minus 2 minus 1, which is equal to negative 3. D sub 1, 3 is equal to the product of, again, the same row and the third column of A, 0, 2, 1. 0 times 0 plus negative 2 times 2 plus 1 times 1. 0 minus 4 and plus 1 equals negative 3. And that is our first row. 5, negative 3, and negative 3. D sub 2, 2 is equal to the product of the second row of the first matrix multiplied by the first column of the second one. So it goes 2, 1, 10 multiplied by 2, 0, 5. We have 2 times 2 plus 1 times 0 plus 10 times 5 which is equal to 4 plus 0 plus 50, and that is equal to 54. It's d sub 2, 1, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, d sub 2, 2, which is equal to the product of the second row of b and second column of a. 2, 1, 10 times 0, 1, negative 1. Two times 0 plus 1 times 1 plus 10 times negative 1. 0 plus 1 minus 10 equals negative 9. D sub 2, 3 equals 2, 1, 10 multiplied by the, the third column of A. 0, 2, and 1. 2 times 0 plus 1 times 2 plus 10 times 1. That is equal to 0 plus 2 and plus 10 which is 12. And this is our second row. 54, negative 9, and 12. Moving on to the last row. D sub 3, 1 equals negative 2, 4, 0. So we take the third row of the B matrix and multiply it by the first column of A. 2, 0, 5. Negative 2 times 2 plus 0, I'm sorry, 4 times 0 plus 0 times 5. Negative 4 plus 0 and plus 0 is equal to negative 4. 
d sub 3, 2 equals negative 2, 4, 0, multiplied by the second column of a, which is 0, 1, negative 1. Negative 2 times 0 plus 4 times 1 plus 0 times negative 1. Now we have 0 plus 4 and plus 0, which equals 4. And last element, d sub 3, 3 equals negative 2, 4, 0, multiplied by the third column of a, 0, 2, 1. Negative 2 times 0 plus 4 times 2 plus 0 times 1. 0 plus 8 plus 0 is equal to 8. And that is our last third row. Negative 4, 4, and 8. And that is our BA product. As you can see, products BA and AB are completely different. So these are the answers.